Hello, hello. Welcome to the Daily Squeeze Take 8. Do you give up? So what I want to talk to you about today is a little bit of a flow on from yesterday. Sorry, I'm a bit blurry today. I'm not sure what's going on with my camera, but I can see that it's just a doesn't look quite right. Um, however, I'm going to keep going. So again, I have my orange here. I am going to be peeling, getting ready for my juice. Just what I'm doing for two days in a row routine. Um, but yeah, do you give up? Do you sit there and, you know, on Monday you're really motivated, on Tuesday you're sticking with your healthy eating, and is it something that, um, you know, you get through the week and you're finding yourself with these challenges you're facing? Do you, do you get to Monday, you're motivated, you've planned everything on Sunday, Tuesday's good, Wednesday all of a sudden there's a morning tea or something at work or people are going out to eat. And all of a sudden you are, you know, trapped. There are the biscuits there, there's the cake there, and you think, no, I'm not going to have any. And then you just sit there, you know, with your water, what have you, and or you try and make the healthy decisions, but for some reason your eyes are just being pulled to those biscuits. So what happens? You end up eating the biscuits. And then you get mad at yourself. So you have a lot of negative self-talk as you're eating it. So what my feeling is, is I know a lot, some people say everything stems from the brain. To me, everything stems from your gut. So if you're feeling frustrated and you're feeling anxious and you pick up those biscuits and you just get yourself mad and really anxious, your stomach is going to go really anxious and mad. And it's not going to process those biscuits the way um, it would if you just, you know, oh yeah, some biscuits, yum, have that. I'll drink some water later, flush it out, perfect you're gonna actually get quite, quite um, yeah, like that stiff feeling, that negative feeling in the pit of your stomach, which then you're not just gonna, you know, process the biscuits like normal. So if the more mad you are at eating something, the more likely you are to fall off the bandwagon. So you're going to end up giving up. And then the self-talk, that negative self-talk happens and you think, oh, you'll just start again Monday and give up for the rest of the week and just keep going. And it turns into almost a bit of a binge from all that stuff that you have given up. So what I want to talk to today is how to let go of that frustration and that negative self-talk and getting mad at yourself for doing something that you want to do. Um, even if you're doing a challenge or if you're doing a... You're just starting out, you know, you have to start somewhere, like I was saying yesterday, but give yourself the chance to have the biscuits. If that's what you want, it's okay. Um, a biscuit or two, if you're drinking water and having breakfast and having a nice lunch afterwards, you're not necessarily going to want the biscuits the next day. You might actually get sleepy or something from them because it's a bit of a sugar hit where you're just on this natural energy from eating well that... You, you never know, but be conscious about what you eat and how you feel. Don't give up. Just keep going. Have the biscuits. It's fine. It's what I like to call the 80-20 rule. So 80% of the week, and this is over a whole week, um, you're not going to lose, you know, you can lose weight in a day, but you're going to see it more over a week. You're going to see it even more over a month. You're going to see it even more over three months, six months. Perfect. So what we want to do is we want to get you to that three month, six month mark. And that is giving yourself a break. 80-20. 80% really, really good. 20% have what you're feeling like you want. Don't deprive yourself of anything or you're just going to want it more. I talk about stuff like that to Mark all the time. And we start eating well and then he just talks about hot chips or something. And within two days he gorges. There's no point doing that. Just have a couple chips when you think about it if you're at a restaurant and then move on from it. There's no need to say, oh, I can't have that. Um, the whole point is to know you're not perfect and know that will this decision lead to me giving up or to keep going? Because what we want to do is say to ourselves, it's okay and no one's perfect. So 80-20, 
plan out your week, plan out some actual nice little um, treats for yourself. Your sometimes foods. I like to, a friend of mine, Beck from Mackay, she loved to tell, to call them sometime food. Um, she had a little girl and as the little girl was being brought up, like I spent a couple years with them, having coffees and stuff, and we'd always go out and, you know, the little girl would be like, oh, mommy, this is a sometimes food. She'd be like, yes, yes it is. And I love that, like that little sometimes food, just have something like that. Um, have a little list written up that you like and know that it's okay, but have it in moderation and don't have it every day. So that's all from me today. Um, I will be back tomorrow. I'm going to go make my juice now. Have a great day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.